So linebackers, linebackers, uh, Daniel, we have you on at here as a guest. So uh, we'll give you first shot at it. You know, what are you looking forward? Obviously, we want to get your your, your starters, but what do you think about the linebacker group as a whole? How how can they all contribute as well? Honestly, um, you know, of course, it's my opinion is based on what kind of defensive scheme we're running. But as a whole, I feel like we do have a lot of talent there. And, you know, with the emergence of Mike Jones, you know, kind of being that leader, uh, you know, showing up at media days, you know, kid has an excellent personality. But not only oh, that, man. kid played a lot at Clemson. Um, and, you know, it looked like he beefed up. He looks really good. And he's super duper athletic. So he could possibly be a sideline to sideline guy for yeah. us. And I've seen in some of those drills where he was at the mic. I don't know if he's going to play mic this year, uh, depending on the size. But we'll see. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him, looking forward to see the improvement of Baskerville. Uh, Baskerville, he's kind of been like that, um, man, linebacker that played a couple of, year ago, a couple of years ago for us uh, from St. Aug. I think he signed in the same class as, um, as Leonard Fournette. Donnie, is, was it Donnie? I don't know when Donnie Jones. But – Either way, um, he kind of reminds me of that. You know, he, he's this is going to be his time to actually come in and uh, be that senior. You know, be that Definitely leader. Hopefully, um, so I, I I don't know. Is, is he still suspended, guys, or is he is he back? Do you guys know? He's been Pro- practicing. He's at camp. He's been practicing. He's okay, at yeah. camp. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Because I know at the beginning of the camp, uh, for something, you know, we heard rumors about him not being there or doing workouts <laughs> or something like that. Kid is always in trouble, but. Maybe he's going to take a turn. We'll see. Well, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it can be similar to like a Damone Clark situation. Like, yeah. Like where, you know, you kind of expected him to just explode last year. And he had a good season. He didn't have a great season. Right. Um, Maybe that's this year. Maybe that's right. this year. Now, it seems like he's a little Not bit yet. behind right now early on. Right. But, I mean, Damone Clark burst onto the scene last year. Maybe it's a similar situation with Baskerville. I, I hope so. Well, I mean, guys, also, if you could remember Damone Clark's his, his junior year, I'm not going to lie to you. I was one of those guys that was like, hey, get that kid off the field. Get him out. All right? Get him out. <laughs> get him off the field. <laughs> and last year, I mean, last year he was a rock star. You know, yeah. so, I mean, you, that major improvement. And, of course, you know, the coaching, him being able to relate to his coaches uh, probably helped also. And the scheme was a little bit better. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that sure. kind of helped. So, I think basketball can be a player this year. I really do. Uh, also seen a lot with Greg Penn. Um, oh, for yeah. sure. You know, Greg Penn sure. can come out and he can kind of probably do something off the edge and, and help us there also. So, you know, I'm excited about those I, guys. I'll tell you what about Greg Penn. When our defense was decimated last year yeah, uh, and when, when it came to the Ole Miss game and it just got to the point where it was embarrassing with the Ole Miss game, like the, yeah. the only bright spot I felt like, in on the defensive side with the old miss game was Greg Penn. Greg Penn had yeah. I think had a great game uh yeah. when it came to uh the old miss game last year. Uh y'all y'all I know y'all said Micah Baskerville, Zach, I know you said kind of like breakout Damone Clark. I, I I just gotta be honest, I don't expect that out of out of Micah Baskerville. Sure. I think here's my comparison. Could go either way. Here's my comparison. Okay. I think Mike Jones could have a Damone Clark type year. I think he can have a a Patrick Queen type of year, and That'd I think huge. I think Baskerville could be a Jacob Phillips type of guy. Like you know, not not like the top guy, but he's there and he's consistent. But you look right? up and you're like, oh crap, yeah. he's got like oh, a ton of tackles, <laughs> right? Like Jacob Phillips was was a guy who was honestly, a I feel like. He like, was man. He, yeah, he. I mean, he got overlooked because of Patrick Queen. That's right. Uh, just a just a little bit in 2019, and and I thought that Jacob Phillips was a. I mean, he was. He was a great linebacker. I mean, he's the, he's there with Cleveland Browns. So I think, you know, I would love to have a you know Damone Clark, um, you know, Patrick Queen type of year out of uh, Mike Jones, and I would love for Baskerville to become that kind of Jacob Phillips consistent type yeah. of guy. Um, Greg Penn uh, is one guy that I, I'm high on. Uh, I mean, yeah. I like his potential. And he's young. I mean, I think he's a sophomore, I think, this year. Um, so, man, if he could play a big role this year, gain some experience and grow, 
Mm-hmm. I mean, that'd be huge for next year's linebacking linebacker, you know, core yeah. group. But guys, I mean, y'all gotta y'all gotta give me your takes on Harold Perkins. Uh, this guy's gonna get some play time. He's gonna get some play time. We talked about him a little bit, you know, in yeah. the previous with camp because obviously he's been showing out and he's two twenty now. Daniel, tell me what you think about Harold Perkins. Man, so the kid has a buzz, right? And then yeah. this is something that we're also going to talk about on the Golden Boot, you know what I'm saying, this, this, this Sunday. For but sure. the, the, the kid the kid definitely has a buzz, man. And uh, you, you've been seeing a lot of good things come out about him. What, he's 6'1", 6'2", 220, flying around yeah. the football, a freaking beast. But I do want us to kind of tamper expectations just a little bit. For the sure. reason why For I say sure. that is because he still is a freshman. He still has to learn the playbook. You know what I'm saying? No and not only that, people don't factor in that this kid is still waking up and going to class in the morning. You know, yeah. this is new to him. You know, hey, mom's not there to, to He's wake him up. He's having a transition to be a yeah, college kid. exactly, exactly. So people, hey, you got to factor that in also. You know, he's got to study. You know what I'm saying? So factor that in. He's a freshman. I think he's definitely going to get some playing time. I wouldn't – if he's starting at the end of the season, I'm hoping that it's not due to injury, but the fact that he's just – that Slow amazing up. yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying but yep. my thing is i don't want to have to rely on a freshman at that position for sure for sure you know for sure so i mean kind of go ahead go ahead i was just gonna say I, i've mentioned this before and I, I know like people like carter have mentioned this i foresee him you know getting in certain package situations and kind yes. of playing a marcel brooks type role yeah, i know that's same. i know that's been mentioned by a lot of people but i've thought it myself and I, that excites me because you got a guy that that's young and wants to prove himself and has has a lot of speed and has a lot of bulk to him. I mean, 220, and it's just muscle, right? And you just tell him, hey, go get the quarterback. Yeah. Go get on the edge, get past, get past your guy, and go obliterate the quarterback. I mean, that's what Marcel Brooks did. Like, they came in, and his objective was go. Go get it. And hey, I can, think I, can I, I would can love I say to see something that. real quick too? Real quick. And I do not mean to interrupt, but don't you guys oh, no, think like the, the Marcel Brooks comparison is kind of like the Joe Burrow comparison? Like we're always looking for that next Marcel Brooks. We're always looking for that next Joe Burrow uh, <laughs> yeah, for the 2019 true. season. You know I, think, I, I think I, I think that's that with everybody, right? Right? Like, yeah, yeah. For 2019, yeah, like now it's like yeah. Kayshawn Jamar. Kayshawn Jamar is yeah. right? standard. It's the standard. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, I think it's, it's this. Awesome. I mean, it should be. You went fifteen and zero, perfect season, record, yep. rec- arguably the best college football team ever. I mean, it should be the standard. Uh, now yep. it's a really high. It's a really high standard. Really let's high not standard. lie. Yeah. But yeah. but I mean, that's that's to be expected. Yeah. Look, I, I, Zach, I gotta fully agree with what you said, and I, with the whole package thing, especially being a freshman. Because I mean, look, you go watch his high school tape. That's kind of what he did, mm-hmm. right? You, he's got speed. They played him at running back. I mean, he yeah. was he was a great running back in high school. Yeah. Uh, and kind of like a little Queen. Devin White. Patrick yeah, Queen. for sure, for sure. Yeah. Patrick Queen, yes. So, I mean, he has speed for sure, and he's definitely a guy that's like can go stand, you know, on the edge of the line and like let the entire offensive line know, hey, I'm, I'm going to get I'm your quarterback in this play. Exactly. And there's not much you can do about it because my feet are going to be faster than you. Right? I'm like, going to take your grits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, just be really intimidating. Like a guy yeah. who's jumpy on the line, who, who, like, he comes in and there's gonna be speed. And when he's standing in there, you're like, oh crap! They're like, come, like, there's no joke. This is happening right now. Third down, you know, type of 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 guy. Like, come in and and just you know, don't let them get the first down. Attack the quarterback. Uh, so, I'm really excited about him uh, and his future with LSU because I think it's bright. Uh, I mean, it's really bright to be a true freshman, getting this type of praise to to already already put ten pounds on over this summer. Uh, I think that speaks to guys. I, I hate. Okay, I, I don't. I hate to bash anybody, but one thing I didn't mention in the fall camp, or I keep saying fall camp, camp. The 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 lack. This is a good lack, though. How minimal the injuries are this year. Yeah, not worse than how wood. minimal. Uh, 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 everybody, not everybody, everybody wood. Every I'm not on wood, okay? <laughs> but listen, the team yeah. seems to be in so much better shape. They seem to be in so much better shape. And 
guys like Harold Perkins, true freshman through in one summer, put on 10 pounds of muscle, right? right? Like, I hate to, you know, obviously Tommy, you know, uh, what he did. Hey, speak the truth, Reagan. Come like, on, man. Just speak it, brother. It, he was there a long time. Respect to his legacy and his tenure here at LSU, but – Bro, it was an it was exhausting the last few years. Washed out the Washed constant out. injuries, the the lack of of stamina, hands on the hips all the time. I mean, oh, we come into <laughs> we come into camp, and it's like we got a long list of this guy's limited. This guy's not practicing. He's questionable for and the your first best game. Guys. Blah, blah, blah. Your and best you're like, guys. God, and you're like, oh, God, dog, who are we gonna pull out there? We're not gonna be ready for the first game because all of us are gonna be playing like we're they're gonna be practicing for like a week Imagine when they're healthy, out there. right? <laughs> so, I mean, the only thing that like they said like Besh had some shin splints, like that's mm-hmm. it. I love it. I love it. I you know, take shin splints. Those things. So hats off to to Jake Flint coming yeah. in, being aggressive, uh, and the entire strength and conditioning class to or strength and conditioning. Uh, uh, group to get these guys in shape, ready for camp, and minimal, you know, minimal injury. Uh, let's hope we keep it that way. But man, that really is exciting uh, for the future because you're like, you know, these past few years it's been exhausting. It's been absolutely exhausting. So that's just, I'm excited for Harold Perkins and and him putting that weight on too. It's just so fast. Man, if I could if I could piggyback off of you, I am yes. like one of those guys who. Love, you know, love to talk to the players about, you know, strength, uh, the strength and uh, nutrition yes. program. I do like that because I think that's where your your guys are built. That's where it starts no at. No you doubt. know what I'm saying? And I've I, over the years, I got so tired of seeing our trenches just get pushed around. Like my guy, you're six six, three hundred and thirty pounds. <laughs> Why is this two hundred and eighty pound defensive tackle bullying you? You know, no like doubt. that that has been the most aggravating thing. So seeing those guys, especially at media days, seeing how Mike Jones looks, uh, looks seeing BJ Ojolari, like those guys look great. They're built, you know, man. Quincy, yeah, I mean they look yeah. great, man. Quincy Wiggins, you know, Healthy. freshman, true freshman. Yeah. I mean they look great. Makai, uh, Makai looks amazing. I'm telling you, Pause. I know we're not talking to. I, I'm, uh, <laughs> It's okay. You Iron Tiger, it. man. Iron I'll Tiger. Iron Tiger. All day. <laughs> but look, I, I'll, I'll say this. I know we're not talking defensive line, but y'all know I love my I love my D line. Yeah, man. I'll say that kid is going to have a great season. And shout out to my boy Jacoby. He's going to have a yes. great season also. But we can go market. For sure. For sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, let's get our take. You know, our, our starting our starting three. Who's going to be your starting three, Daniel? And then we'll go Zach, and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. Who's your starting um, three linebackers? It's, it's kind of obvious, man. Mike, Mike Jones, Micah. Yeah. Um, do we want to throw BJ in with the linebackers? Maybe. I mean, Maybe. I, I mean, we know he's coming off the edge, right? And we know we're possibly be gonna we're gonna be running a what a could uh, be three, three four three four sometimes three yeah. four defense. So I mean, well, yeah. okay, now that now so let's go. Uh, Mike Jones, Michael Baxterville, and possibly Greg Pitt. Yeah, definitely. Tra- let's just stick with traditional four three. Yeah, let's, let's, three let's, guys. Let's, sure. Let's uh, yep. But yes, Daniel, I, I like I'm thinking. completely, I like I'm completely with you there, uh, Daniel. But I, I'll tell you what, I am excited to see what Colby Fields and West Weeks offer. I mean, they yes, both transferred yes. in. You know, mm-hmm. both trans Colby Fields. You know. Transferred in from South Carolina, SEC program. He looks really good. Um, he needs, I think, he needs to bulk up a little bit. Um, but and then and then also West Weeks, another guy that transferred in from from Virginia. You know how much I I think when you look at that and you have Kobe Fields and you have uh, West Weeks, yeah. that excites me because the depth uh, is is two experienced yeah. guys. I mean, West Weeks was a dude over at Virginia. And then Colby Fields, obviously coming from another SC program, is huge. So, and it has the experience at another SC program. So the depth is is experienced um, and it's talented. So I, I'm excited. Obviously, I have to go with the same three, but the guys behind them, I'm really excited about too. And don't forget guys like like Jared Small, you know, and Demario Tolan. So yeah, 
Yeah, you, you, there's no doubt. There's there's some depth in there. I mean, I, th- I think we got a unanimous decision here. I'll take Jones. I'll take Baskerville. I'll take Penn. Uh, I think it, that'll be your your starting three for sure. Uh, but you got to love the depth. I mean, mm-hmm. at the linebacker, we were it, it felt like we were missing a lot. We were going to have to replace a lot uh, this yeah. offcoming season. And we went out and we got some depth. And um, I'm excited about, about this group now a lot more than where we were at the end of the season. 